Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, it's me Cowboy Jack and today I want to learn about some cowboy stuff because I am a cowboy, right? Well, we're here back at the Williams Ranch in Huntsville, Texas. I'm hanging out with my buddy Strawberry here. He's all saddled up and ready for us, but today we're going to learn about roping. See this is a cowboy rope and it does a lot of different things, but I actually don't know how to use it. So Mr. Ronnie Williams, a real cowboy, is going to teach us exactly how to do that. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Are you guys ready to learn some cowboy stuff with Cowboy Jack? Let's go. My buddy right here, Mr. Ronnie Williams, how you doing today? How are you Cowboy Jack? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah. So you can teach me how to use this thing? Absolutely. All yeah, right, right now. Well, what are we doing here? So this is the rope, and there's different parts of the rope. I'm Boy, holding I, the I coils. thought a rope was just a rope. No, I'm holding the coils in my left hand, and I'm holding the loop or the lasso in my right hand. Okay. So do you call it a rope or a lasso? You call it, it's called both. It's rope called both. Lasso. Exactly. <laughs> so this part would be your lasso, and this part yeah. would be the rope? So this is called a lariat rope. Okay. You have the eye of the rope. Wow, guys, come take a look at that. See, that's the that's eye of the rope. With, that's wrapped with rawhide, because if you didn't have it wrapped with rawhide, as this rope passes through there, it will actually cut the eye in two. Oh, wow. It solves so the eye in two. It just stops the friction. It and, stops the friction. Okay. So you have it wrapped with rawhide. When you run it down, the eye down, that's called the spoke of the rope. So you have the spoke down the loop. That's that funny. Gives that's, you, that's... It gives you added weight. So this is, now that you have that weight down here, this is your spoke, just like correct. the spoke on a wheel or correct. your bicycle. That is correct. Okay. You're gonna hold it. You're actually gonna point your index finger out. And that's how you're gonna guide it. Okay. It's gonna lay against your finger when you're twirling it. And that's, you're gonna point, and that's what's gonna make the loop go straight. I'm gonna rope this dummy a couple of times. This is just a practice dummy. But you would take it above your head you're moving this like you're pumping a well, just like I was pumping a well. You're moving your wrist like you're trying to make a circle. Your wrist has to move in a circle. Okay. I got my index finger pointing, and when I throw it, I'm gonna do it in slow motion. I'm gonna point my finger right at what I'm throwing at. Wow, so you actually just point your finger where you, you want it to go. You have to lock your arm straight. Okay, that makes sense. Then wow. you reach down and grab the rope, and you have to pull the slack, or he'd run through it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Keep because when you're when you're roping, when you're actually roping, this is just a learning uh, dummy that we're using to learn on. But when you're actually roping a cow, that's a live animal and it's running and all those things. And like Mr. Ronnie said, if you throw a rope around his neck and you don't pull that slack out, he could get his feet right through there you and you'd, you'd have to do it all over again. He's just gone. Okay. So to speed it up just a little bit, it's the same thing. You're twirling, you're pointing your finger, and you're getting your slack. Wow, you make okay. that look really, really easy. Have you done this before? A few times. <laughs> Boy, that's really neat. So now, we're gonna get you to try it. Okay. Coils All right. in that hand. Here's my coils. Point There's your that. finger. Now, when you go above your head, <clears throat> you're gonna make a circle. Your wrist is down, then your wrist is up. Go around your head, swing, <laughs> Just swing, just, you'll, you'll start out, swing, work your, work your wrist, pretty good, pretty good, pretty Look good. Look at that, I think guy. I'm a natural. Pretty good. <laughs> now you're gonna get up a little closer. Okay. You're gonna point your finger at the back of that head. Okay. When you turn it loose. All right, well here goes nothing. You know, it's just like everything else we do. You don't automatically start out being good at something. You have to practice, practice a, lot. a lot. And practice makes perfect. Do you think Michael Jordan was just a great basketball player when he was first born? No, he worked at it every day, all day, for a long, long time. All right, so here goes my first rope and try. Point with... at your finger. Well. <laughs> pretty, pretty close. It went in the direction you wanted it to go. All right, so That's I, pretty close. I wind this back up. You're going to turn your hand over. Turn this hand over this way. All right. You're going to flip so that you get the call. So just hold, hold it there. All right. Now flip it like a water hose, see? Oh, okay. Run your hand down, flip it again. There you go. There we go. Flip it again until you get to the eye. 
Okay, then, so now I need to make that now spoke you walk, again, right? You walk the eye back around the rope. Walk it around. There you are. Wow. Ready to go again. You know, this is a lot. A little it's, too much. It's it, about right there. All right. Right there. Wow. Winding this rope up is kind of like rolling up an extension cord. It can get a little tricky sometimes because you don't want to end up with a big old knot. Or just like a water hose, this rope has memory to it and you have to work with that. That's correct. Point your finger. All right. There you go. You're going to oh. lock your elbow straight when you throw. Your arm has to be straight. All right, here we go. Second try. Closer. I did something funny there. No. So as you throw, you also have to open this hand up or you restrict the length of the rope. Oh, okay. So I like see. right then when you threw, <clears throat> you had this hand closed so it wouldn't allow the loop to go. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to do what you did. Okay. I'm holding it here tight and I'm going to throw, but you wouldn't allow the rope to go. That's right. You have to open your hand and feed, feed it out with the left hand while you're throwing with the right hand. See, I was only worried about what was going on with this hand, exactly. how I was aiming and throwing. So but now, I forgot all about this other yeah, hand. So now when here. I do it, I open it up so they can come out, so the calls can come out. Man, he makes that look easy. You must have done this for a long, long time. That's really cool. I can't wait to be as good as him. And you know what? It would take years of practice, but hey, practice makes perfect. That's exactly right. Here we go. You guys think I can get it on the third try? I'm open, sure gonna open try. Open your left hand up. Just open, let, let the rope feed out. There. Oh, pretty I almost close. had pretty it. Pretty close, pretty close. I felt myself still holding tight you with did. this hand. You did, pretty close. I felt myself doing it. Pretty close. But see, this isn't natural for me. I've never thrown a rope before, but I'm learning and I'm having fun with it. Whenever you're swinging it above your, hand, above your head, the one thing that's gonna help you is when you're here, you want your palm looking at the sky. Okay. When you come around, you want your palm looking at the ground. So watch my palm as it goes around. See my palm? I'm actually opening the loop with my hand by rotating it. My palm's down, my palm's up. My palm's down and up, down and up. So you have to move that wrist. Okay. In that motion. And wow, I mean, Mr. Williams here makes that look like such a beautiful art form. Did you notice it almost looked like it was gonna take off his cowboy hat every time? <laughs> All right, here we go. So move that wrist. Point your finger. Oh, that's all right. Point my finger. You're fine. Point your and finger. And I'm gonna. Whoop! Here we go. I'm gonna make sure my wrist is my palm is pointing up to the sky when I'm right in front of myself. Break your break your wrist. Break it. That's it. Break it. There you go. A lot better. A lot better. All right, here we go. My twist it up. I got something funny going on. <laughs> all right. It's just from not doing your wrist enough. Is all this from? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put a kink in it. I'll show you why. Go ahead. I'm going to put a kink in it. Now it's going to be straight. Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. Oh. Left hand. Did it again. Boy, it's really challenging because you, all of your attention is focused on this hand because you want to make sure you're shooting it in the right spot. But even if you do that perfectly, if you don't behave with your left hand, it's not going to work. You're going to be short yourself. Whew. Okay. Well, like we said, practice makes perfect. So you can see now why I talked to you about the height. Believe it or not, when you're learning, it's easier when you're on the dummy roping down than it is on the ground roping at the same level. Really? It is. <laughs> it, it, it becomes easier. Your, your, uh, the, the uh, what we call the angle of the rope, the angle, you want the angle going down like that. See, I'm having to do it manually. Okay. You want that angle so that the loop drops over the head that way first. Oh, okay. Not flat like a hula hoop going in. I got it. And I that's understand. why when you're on the dummy, it helps you get that angle to go down. I see. Yes. See, you know, what Mr. Williams is explaining there is that normally when you'd be roping a cow, you'd be sitting up on a horse, right? And so you'd be up tall, because horses are pretty tall, 
and uh, the cow would be down below you. So there's a natural angle to it. Correct. Right now we're just standing on the ground on terra firma. Correct. So it's a little bit different. Correct. Correct. But if you can do, I'm sure if you can do it from flat ground, it'd be easier to do it from up top. Right? It's all the other basics you learn on the flat ground. The left hand, the right hand, the finger, the spoke, all, and then you would move up. And then in a minute, we're going to go in the arena on the horse, and we're going to pull an actual dummy, and you would move up again. And it's a stair-stepping motion. Whew. Yeah. Okay, well, let me get this part down. Here we go. Move at wrist. Get a little closer. There you are. Point your finger and lock your elbow. Oh, oh I almost had, had it. Had I had did a, my left, left hand, hand again. So <laughs> what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to pull your slack with your left hand. And you don't. You pull your slack with the same hand you threw with, your oh, right hand. Okay. But that's what you're doing is pretty natural. Everybody wants to pull their slack when they start with that hand. You pull your slack with the same hand that you're throwing it with. This, wow. hand, this hand never does anything. This hand just holds the coils. Okay. All right. I'm getting closer. It's, it's so much fun to learn this. I feel like this is going to be my time. This is going to be the one. Get a little closer. All right. Point your finger and lock your elbow. You guys ready? Oof. I did it again did with mine. <laughs> hey, it's reflexes. <laughs> I promise you. I've been through this a million times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a real big loop. Okay. Which is going to make it harder for you to get it above your head but it's also gonna emphasize you have to move your wrist. Okay. And it's gonna make it, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna help. Point oh. that finger, bigger loop, see? Now move it all the way above your head, get a little closer. All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it, it, I promise you, it, it, it's hard. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Well, we're gonna use a little bit different target. This is like a rope and steer right here, Correct. right, Mr. Williams? Correct. And see, he's got these big green horns on him. And that's just like a real cow. So I'm going to try my luck on this one and see if I can get it a little bit better. You guys ready? Whew. Try number 79. Here we go. <laughs> Around your head. Look at that. Hey, at that. I got him. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Boy, that was a lot of fun. Hey. Good job, Cowboy Jack. Good job. And see, just like we talked about, you keep trying and trying until you get it. Now, I'm not great at it. I just did it once. I have to keep trying until I'm really good at it. Whew. You guys think I could do two in a row? Whoop. Almost. See, and I pulled it off too fast. Almost. <laughs> Left hand. <laughs> yep, almost. Whew. Wow, I'm starting to feel like a cowboy now. Whew. Feels good, doesn't it? Rotate that wrist. Get a little closer. Just not much. Right there. Now point, you have to point that finger at the back of the head. There, there. Oh, I got him again. Wow, that is so neat. See, that cow's not getting anywhere. So you stay right there. <laughs> Not too much, like spoke. About there. You guys ready? Well, I got you one horn. You did it with your left hand. Now, you if I did that in real life on a real cow, that probably wouldn't work no, out too good, off. would it? Uh -uh. We'd have to start all over come again. right off. Well. Better. Well, turns out I'm really good at getting one horn. I just can't <laughs> seem to let go with this hand, Mr. Williams. <laughs> That's well, all right. That's all in the learning process. Well, see, I mean, I feel like I'm getting better at you're hitting my better. target. You are. That's but I still got to get this hand down. Believe it or not, this is uh, just like throwing rocks. Well, I'm good at throwing rocks. Well, you're good at throwing rocks. You use your finger. Mm hmm You use your arm. You aim at what you're throwing at, and you throw. Same way with the rope, just like okay. throwing a rock. Well, that helps me understand a yeah. little better. Yeah, just like throwing a rock. 
Now don't you guys go throwing any rocks. <laughs> <laughs> You're pointing your finger, locking your elbow, and pointing right at your object. All right, here we go. <laughs> that wasn't any good. Let's try again. Open your left hand when you throw. There you go. You still pull your left hand. <laughs> I always want to pull the slack with yeah, my left yeah, hand. Everybody, that's all part of that's <clears throat> everything you're doing is all part of what everybody does when they're learning. <laughs> they, they do. So while we're looking at this rope, I'm going to show you something. Okay. Hold this rope. In a minute, we're going to go in the arena, and we're going to pull a practice calf around with the Kubota, and I'm going to rope it. But what's going to be different is, when I rope it, I showed you the eye a minute ago. Mm -hmm. My eye is going to break loose and open up. Oh, wow. It's called a breakaway. So that when I rope it, it doesn't jerk the dummy off of it. The rope just breaks loose from it. Okay, so you're then just... Then I make it back up, and I go and I rope it again, and again, and again, and it can just keep going in a circular motion around the I arena. I understand. So you're not actually trying to stop the dummy. No. You're just trying to make sure that you you're can hit your target. You're just trying to rope it, and then when you pull your slack, it's going to keep going forward, and it's going to pop off. Wow, okay. See what I'm talking about? What a unique piece yeah. of training yeah. equipment. So in a minute, we'll, we'll use that. And I don't want to explain to you so they didn't think that the rope was breaking, it's made to do that. I understand, so it's yeah. it's it's purposefully yeah. breaking so that you're not actually pulling the Correct. dummy when we're out there practicing. Correct. Okay. I'm gonna try this one more go time. Go ahead, you're fine. <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls, one more try. Here we go. There you go. Look at there, there you go. wow. There you, there you go. I feel like I got it really good that good. time. There See? You go. Wow. Sorry, Mr. Cow, let me just release you here. Look at that, he's not even running off now. <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls, now that we've mastered the dummy, well, we haven't mastered it, but I've gotten a little bit better. Mr. Ronnie's gonna show us how it's done with the dummy in real motion on a real horse. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. I may even try it myself. Look at him, he's riding right into the arena. We're gonna follow him in there and get an up close look at how this goes. All right, now see Mr. Williams is riding strawberry there and we're about to start pulling the roping dummy around with that Kubota tractor right there. Now remember, like Mr. Ronnie told us, he's using a breakaway rope. So that means after he gets the dummy, the rope is actually gonna break loose. So they don't have to stop the routine, they can keep going. He can pull the rope back, fix it back up, and use it all over again. All right guys, now watch him with that Kubota. He's pulling the roping dummy right behind him. So that's mimicking what a cow is like. And Mr. Ronnie's on his horse Strawberry there, and he's about to rope that dummy. Wow, did you see that? He got it the first time and that rope broke away just like he told us it would. And see right now he's fixing his rope back up, getting ready to do it all over again. I think Strawberry's having a great time, don't you? He's holding his head up high, he's trotting like he's king of the arena. Wow, he got it again. You're just gonna point at the back of that head the same process as you were doing over there. Lean forward, you all right? Well, <clears throat> real good, real close, real well, good. Real I didn't good. let go of my slack with my left hand. Same, same thing, same thing. You probably would have roped it then, to be honest with you, had you not stopped the loop from going forward. Well. Yeah. You had the right angle and you had the right uh, distance 
you stop the loop. I'm gonna do something a little different. Making, I'm putting more slack in between your hands. Okay. Normally it's not good because when you're running a horse, this is bouncing. Gotcha. But you're not, you're standing still. So I'm gonna give more slack so that when you throw, it's got more slack. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Well, we're here on horseback. I'm on my buddy Strawberry and I'm gonna try and see if I can rope this dummy. So like Mr. Williams said, you stand up in the stirrups a little bit, lean forward, get your rope ready. Look at there, Jack. There, Jack. we got it. <laughs> All right. Great job. That was awesome. Great wow. job. Hey, thanks, Strawberry. I appreciate you being so cool with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Strawberry, you ready? Go ahead and start twirling. Start your loop. Here we go. Kicker. Let's go, Strawberry. Kick. Come on, girl. Kick. You're all right. Let's kick. Let's go. There we go, girl. Whoop. You're real close. <laughs> well, this makes it way too easy. I got it. <laughs> all right, Strawberry. Hold up. Pull hold back up. a little bit. There you are. Hold up, girl. Now move her over. <laughs> hold her up. Over. Hold up. Hold up. All right, now, now I'm going to get this done. Let's go, girl. There you go. Oh, I almost had it. Close. <laughs> Close. Whoop, rope went underneath. <laughs> At this rate, Mr. Ronnie's not going to hire me as a cowboy for his ranch. <laughs> hold up, Strawberry. Hold up. Hold up, girl. Hold up. Kick. All right, you ready? Whoa, girl. Whoa, girl. Let's, let's, let's give it a little time. Give it a little time. Kick. All right, now let's get it. Kick. Now let's get it. <laughs> that time you actually threw and everything correct your hand but you didn't point you, you, in other words your loop didn't go where it should have gone yeah boy there's a lot to keep in in line when you're up on a horse i mean you got the fact that you're on this beautiful big animal the dummy's in motion you're in motion you're trying to root, do your hands don't let anybody tell you that being a cowboy is easy i can tell you firsthand it's not <laughs> All right, Strawberry, I got a good feeling about this time, girl. We're gonna get it, aren't we? <laughs> All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, now let's go get it. Let's go get it. Come on, Strawberry. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So you can imagine when you're running a calf, He's running wide open and then he's ducking and he's diving because he knows you're behind him and he's trying to elude you and get away. Yeah. So you're up there, not only that, you're having to duck and dive with him as you're going down through there. I don't know how you cowboys do it. I guess just a lot of practice, A lot of right? practice, exactly right. So even when I'm starting out, because of what I just told you, that's called a lane over there. It has a roping box and a chute in it too. The difference is the calf has to run straight. Oh, he can't okay. duck and dive like he can in the arena. So as you progress and you started roping calves, we'd put you in the lane. Okay. And you would start over there because everything's going to be straight, just like this is straight in front of you. After you master that, then you'd move over to the arena. All right, Strawberry, you ready? Let's go, girl. Whoa, back it up, back it up. Give it a little room, give it a little room. Loosen your All right, hand let's up. do it. Let's go, Strawberry. Loosen your left hand on her. There you are. All right. Woo! All right. Look at there. Pull it. Pull I it. got Woo! it. I got Hold it. Keep filming. Stay All right, right. Now it's going to break away. Woo. See there that? There you go. All right. Look at that. It's only my first day roping, and we didn't get it the first time. We had to keep on trying. My buddy Strawberry here and Mr. Williams. Woo, I feel like a pro now. <laughs> I'm not anywhere near a pro, but we're gonna keep practicing and learning. We get better at things over time. That was so amazing. Good Thank job, you so Cowboy much Jack. for having Good us. Job. This is Good great. Job. Fantastic. <laughs> wow. 
white go for? Well, cowboys and cowgirls, that's about enough for open for me today. But I couldn't leave without checking out some of Mr. Williams' really awesome animals here on the farm. It's such a cool Texas day. Wait a second, are you guys laughing at my hair? I thought I'd feel a little bit of breeze. Okay, I'll put my hat back on. Wow. You guys see what he's got under there? That's a little bitty baby goat. Wow. All right. How old is this little guy? That one's about uh, 10 days now. 10 day old goat right here. Wow, look at him. He's really, really cute. And goats have these really unique eyes. Have you guys ever seen goats' eyes? Look at them right there. They kind of have this sideways line in them. And you know, goats oftentimes live in like desert uh, climates. It gets really, really hot. I don't know if that helps with their vision out there or not, but look at this guy. He's got tiny little feet, tiny little feet. Wow. <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, we've had a blast here today. Mr. Ronnie, thank you so much Absolutely. for giving me that My rope. My pleasure. My pleasure. Man, that was so You did so real well. Oh, well, thank you. He's just being nice, but no, he was so patient well. with me. What an amazing teacher. And if you guys ever wanted to learn anything about horses, farm animals, exotic animals, any of that stuff, you could come on up to the Williams Ranch here in Huntsville, Texas. It's a whole lot of fun. All right, Mr. Williams, well, thanks again. I appreciate thank your you. time. You come back anytime. <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls, make sure you're subscribed to Cowboy Jack on YouTube, and that way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. Boy, my arm is tired from all that roping. Practice makes perfect. I got to get back to the house and keep practicing because I'm not very good at it yet, but with a lot of patience and persistence and keep trying and trying and try again. I think Billy Joe Shaver said that one. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys had a great time because I know I did. I'll see you around real soon. Yeah! Show.